places to visit in Chile. Tucked in between the mighty Andes and surreally massive Pacific Ocean, this long and narrow country is known around the world for its pristine landscapes. Its unusual shape is a blessing as it has blessed the country with stunning diverse climate and topographies as you travel its length. From the driest desert in the world in the north and majestic glaciers in the south to gurgling glaciers and turquoise water, the Patagonian country has a lot to offer. Hey travelers, welcome back to your favorite channel, The Travelist. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, and yeah, like the video for sure. Today we're going to explore the places that make Chile one of the most beautiful holiday destinations in the world. So let's begin our journey in the southernmost tip of the country, or the world's southernmost tip, Cape Horn. Considered something of a holy grail for travelers, an equivalent of Mount Everest, but for those who yacht, this region has been known for centuries as the sailor's graveyard because of its remoteness, rough seas and hazardous coastline. But don't let that frighten you, a trip here is worth the effort, if not the bragging rights. Cape Horn is popular among sailing enthusiasts and is frequented by cruise ships, an adoption for the less adventurous. Once you reach the shore via a cruise ship or helicopter, you can take a short clifftop climb to the Cape Horn Memorial Sculpture, the ultimate selfie spot. Next, explore the natural beauty of the Torres del Paine National Park with its granite pillars, steps that are spotted with grazing guancos, and a sure lake that is one of the most stunning places in the Southern Hemisphere. A must-visit spot in the park is the Cordillera del Paine, an area that signifies the transition from the Patagonian steppe to the subpolar forests in the north. One of the most wonderful features here is the three majestic granite peaks of the Payne Massif, which create the perfect backdrop for the already breathtaking scenery. Its towering peaks are the perfect reward after an energetic hike through the well-marked trails here. Torres del Payne's towering grey glacier includes towering blue walls, ice caves, and a quaint island situated next to the serene, iceberg-filled grey lake. While photos may make this masterpiece crafted by nature look incredible, when you experience the sheer beauty of this place in person, you'll feel like living in a dream. From here, embark on a road trip or journey by bicycle along the famous Carretera Austral route. Stop at the marvelous solid marble caves called the Cavernas del Marmol that border the General Carrera Lake. Whizzing over the glacial lake to witness the swirling blues and greens of the cave walls is a truly tranquil experience. The patterns are reflections of the lake's saturated waters and stand out against the azure blue of the water body. Next, take a trip about 2,300 miles off Chile's coast to the isolated island of magic, Easter Island, a mystical land of volcanoes, crater lakes, and gorgeous white sand beaches. This location will take your breath away. While here, discover the enchanting history and rich traditions of Rapa Nui Lounge on the pristine beaches. As you bathe in the warm, crystal clear waters of the sea, you can enjoy some of the best diving and snorkeling in the world. Don't miss the Rapa Nui National Park, where nearly 900 logic-defying statues called Moai will impress you. Oh, and look out for the wild horses, there are hundreds of them running free on this island. As you venture down to southern Chile, you will get to see a lot of German influence and Mapuche traditions. Chile Island, the country's second biggest island, is a place that will take you into the past. If you're lucky, you'll get to witness a Minga celebration or taste the explosive flavor of a curanto. Chiloé is also home to vibrant waterfront houses on stilts, whose architecture is just mind-blowing. Known as Palafitos, these homes snuggle along the coastline in places and are simply marvelous. Other attractions on this relatively isolated island include dense forests and iconic wooden churches built by the Jesuit community, 16 of which have been designated as UNESCO World Heritage Sites. The island is also home to the Chiloé National Park, which is worth adding to your travel itinerary. The highlight of a visit to this scenic location has got to be the chance to observe diverse wildlife like blue whales and dolphins. The Chilean Lake District in southern Chile is a perfect tourist spot with many hotels and restaurants scattered among snow-capped volcanoes, forested national parks, and pristine lakes that water sports enthusiasts will drool over. The Mapuche farmers from Switzerland, Germany, and Austria who have forcefully resettled here, enrich the region with their own culture, which may be seen in the architecture of Osorno and Valdivia. The area is not short of great treks, 
that are worthy of a day or two of exploring, where you'll encounter everything from verdant forests to gurgling volcanoes to quaint country villages, where you'll feel like you're in the heart of Chile. Hop on a boat and take a ride around one of the many lakes in this lake district to get a great angle of the surrounding volcanoes of Puerto Varas. For adventure seekers, the typical itinerary includes endless biking and hiking potentials paired with thrilling activities like volcano climbing, whitewater rafting, canoeing, and horseback riding. Hop over to the nearby Islotes del Punihuil Natural Monument where you'll be amazed by the large penguin breeding grounds. Other adventures on this island include hiking, kayaking, and ecotourism. Start your journey of northern Chile at the El Cue Valley, the country's sublime area where the national drink, a yellow-hued brandy called Pisco, is made. Take a tour through one of the many distilleries and rolling vineyards that dot El Cue and tickle your taste buds with a rich taste of wine or Pisco. Apart from some great trekking and other outdoor activities, you can also visit the world's first dark sky sanctuary to enjoy one of the best stargazing spots in the world. The village of Pisco El Cue is not far away from the La Serena, Chile's second oldest city that's known for its colonial architecture and golden shoreline. It's a popular destination for beachgoers in January and February, so you can combine your trip by dropping by Isla Damas in La Serena, where you can spot happy little penguins on one of its many beaches. With sweeping dunes and craggy rock formations, the beautiful landscape of Valle de la Luna is reminiscent of a scene right out of a sci-fi film and can be found in northern Chile. Named so because of its eerie landscape, it resembles that of another planet. It's a perfect holiday destination. You can let the warmth of the thermal bats melt all your worries away or catch a stunning jewel-toned sunset transform into a celestial sky. The El Tatio Geyser field here is the best enjoyed in the wee hours of 6 a.m. when the sun is just peering across the horizon and the fumaroles create amazing white columns of stream. Among the many interesting features of San Pedro de Atacama are its dry lake beds which are dazzling white and prone to producing brilliant natural saline outcrops. Other notable features are its many caverns containing pictographs created by early man and where some of the world's oldest mummies, Chincoro mummies, were found, perfectly preserved by the region's arid climate. The Laguna Quejar sinkhole, that's renowned for its turquoise water, can also be found here. If you're a history buff and find yourself in northern Chile, we've got the place for you, nestled in the northern port city of Iquique in the remote Pampa Desert, the fascinating ghost town of Pozo al Monte was once occupied by the bustling community. For more than 60 years, thousands of Chilean, Peruvian, and Bolivian workers toiled at the humble stone and Santa Laura Saltpeter works under hostile conditions. Although derelict since the 1960s, the workers or Pampinos left their imprint of a distinct culture and way of life that's been preserved here. It's recommended that you hire a professional guide considering the harsh climate and remoteness of the area. Located in the far north of Chile, the Biosphere Reserve of Lauca National Park is inhabited by adorable alpaca foxes and pumas. It's also popular among bird watchers and is home to over 140 species, including Chilean flamingos, Andean geese, and crested ducks. You can also find the glorious Chungara Lake here, which is one of the highest and most beautiful lakes in the world. If you're a nature lover, don't forget to head to Conguilo National Park in the Aracania region. If adventure is more up your alley, the La Ca National Park has got you covered. Highlights include hiking around the pristine mountain lakes of Kota Kotani and Chungara, which reflect the scenery around its waters. There are also several archaeological sites here and evidence of early European settlers who left their mark through fine old colonial churches and other structures. How interesting! Our thrilling journey through Chile concludes here. Needless to say, this country is the perfect destination for nature lovers and adventure seekers. With a myriad of stunning sightseeing opportunities from towering peaks, ancient volcanoes and dramatic coastlines, your camera roll will be full of gorgeous photos. Which was your favorite spot on the list? Comment below. And as always, like and share the video if you enjoy it, and catch us in the next country by subscribing.